Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 12 where we are learning a great deal on areas related to circles. This is webisode number 3 and friends today we are going to talk about solving questions involving perimeters and areas of a circle. Now before we take a look at the questions friends, we want to make sure that there are two very important things that we will re want to rem remember. These are things we have seen in the webisode number 1 and webisode number 2. So here we have drawn ourselves a circle and convention is that we mark the center of a circle as, uh, as uh, the letter 0. I have taken randomly any point, let's call it A, on the circle. If I join the center and that point, this is the radius. Now the two important things to remember friends is that the circumference of a circle and area of a circle. So what is the formula for circumference of a circle? Circumference of a circle's formula is it is 2 times pi times r where r is the radius. So circumference we saw in from episode 1 that it is the length of the boundary of the figure. So that is given by 2 pi r where r is the radius and area of a circle is really the amount of space that is enclosed inside a shape or a figure. So for circle it is the amount that I am actually uh, showing by shading it. It is this amount. How much is the amount of space which is inside it? And that is given by the formula we saw in the last episode pi r square. So now with these two in our mind Let's take a look at some of the questions and how we solve them. The radii of two circles are 8 cm and 6 cm respectively. Find the radius of a circle having area that is equal to sum of areas of the first two circles. So clearly the first thing is that we, have, we don't have any figure given. So we have to be paying extra attention to make sure we draw the figure appropriately. So now, let's go back and read the question one more time. The radii. Radii means plural form of radius. So when there are more than one radius, we call it radii. Now radii of two circles. So we are talking about two circles. One is 8 cm, the other one is 6 cm. Now find the radius again of a circle. So this is a third circle. So we have two circles given. So we can actually draw two circles, maybe something like this. So we have two circles given like this right so let's say this is a bigger circle so let's say this is the circle whose radius is 8 centimeter and this is a smaller circle whose radius is 6 centimeter so two circles are given now we are talking about a third circle something like this let's say this radius is r centimeter clearly this circle is bigger because what is given is that the area of this circle. So let's say this area of the big circle is A. Now find the radius of the third circle or the circle having area, let's say its area is A, equal to sum of areas of the first two circles. So if we say that the area of the circle whose radius is 8 centimeter, if that is A, if that area is A1, and area of a circle whose radius is 6 centimeter, if that circle's area is A2, then A1 plus A2, if you add them, that will be equal to area of the required circle. And it is this radius that we have to find out. So now that we understand what we are doing, let's find out how do we actually go ahead and do it. Let's clean this up. So what we have is the way we are going to write this is that let the radius of the required circle is R centimeter. So we will say, let us say this radius is R centimeter. So then what follows from here is that, so area of the required circle from our formula will be pi r square. I am just omitting the centimeter, the unit, so it should be centimeter square. So going forward, you have to place, put the right unit. Area of the circle whose radius is 8 centimeter then will be similarly pi 8 square. Because the area of the, the bigger circle is 8, the radius is 8. So its area is pi 8 square and similarly area of the circle with radius 6 centimeter will be pi 6 square. Now what is given is that the area of a required circle or in other words pi r square is equal to sum of these two areas. So it will be equal to pi pi 
8 square plus pi 6 square. So that is what is actually given. So now we are going to simply solve this. So we have pi here and we these two terms they both have pi. So we will take pi common from this side. So left hand side we already have a pi r square. So here if we take pi common we will get 8 square here. 8 square plus 6 square. Or from here pi and pi will cancel out. We have r square equal to now let's expand it. 8 square is 64 plus 6 square is 36 or this is equal to 100. Now taking square root on both sides so we will have r equal to plus minus square root of 100 or equal to plus minus 10. Now obviously r is a radius so it cannot be a negative number so r is equal to 10 centimeter. So we see that this value is equal to 10 centimeter. That means the bigger circle whose area is equal to some total of areas of the first two circle that if that were to be true then this bigger circle must have a, a radius of 10 centimeter. So friends this is how we solve these kind of questions. So let's take a look at one more question. Now this is okay this should be we just solve this. So let's move on to the second question. Now this is the second question. Now here we have a figure which is given. In the figure below, three, three con concentric circles are shown. So the meaning of the word concentric, we should note, it is same center or common center. So we are talking about three circles, they have the same center. So same center, one circle, two circle and the third circle. If the diameter of the smallest circle is a centimeter, so the diameter of the smallest circle is a centimeter if this is a centimeter the diameter and each of the other bands are two centimeter wide it means that this is two centimeter and similarly this is two centimeter so this is two centimeter and this is two centimeter so that is what is given so what do we have to do? We have to find the areas of each band. So now what we are going to do friends is first we are going to probably try and let's see. Let's try to see if we can color code it. So here <laughs> I have color coded this. It really looks like a dart board or something of that sort. So the reason I'm going to do I'm doing it here and probably I'll be doing it in subsequent more webisodes in this series is because when we are actually adding areas, subtracting areas, it is just sometimes visually more appealing if you see it this way. Uh, obviously needless to say that when you are going to write this in your test or in your class, classwork or homework, you are not going to be coloring and all that. But I am doing that so that you can clearly understand. So we have to find out the areas of each band. So there is a blue band which is the smallest circle. There is a yellow band on top of that and finally there is a red band. So when we say that we have to find out the area of each band, so first of all area, right, area of the blue or the innermost circle, that will be pi r square where r is the radius, r is this radius or in other words it will be pi now r we don't know but we do know that the diameter this diameter is equal to a now we know that the diameter is act actually equal to two times radius or in other words any radius will be then diameter divided by two so it will be a by two so radius is a by two so we our area is pi r square so r is a by two whole square so pi r square this much centimeter square so this is going to be the area of the blue circle so now we have found it I'm just not going to be opening this up well you can actually write this as simply you can say this is pi a square pi a square by 4 this much centimeter square I guess we can do that 
Now let's find out the area for the yellow band. Let's clean this up. I have on purpose marked the outside as dotted because we are really not going to be focusing on that or the red band. Our focus is now finding out the area for the yellow band that is this band. Now if you think about this you can actually visualize this as a combination of a yellow circle. So if from center if this entire thing were one circle right so this is that second circle and from here you can subtract the blue circle so this is your yellow circle the whole circle so in other words if i have to find out the area of the blue the yellow band so i can think about that as the area of the yellow band is equal to area of the yellow circle minus area of the blue circle and this is friends where you want to take a pause or pause the video and make sure that you are following this because what we are saying and, and this is very important going forward because now we are going to be actually looking at different areas through adding or subtracting other areas so what you, you want to make sure that you are fully comfortable with this so I am taking this one is nothing but the second circle so the entire circle, if I take this area of the entire circle, it will give me this. From here, if I subtract out the area of the blue circle, which is this, then I am left with my yellow band. That is what I am looking for. Areas of each band, for the blue band, it is equal to the area of the blue circle, which we just saw. But area of the yellow band is not equal to the area of the yellow circle. It is the area of the yellow circle minus area of the blue circle. So now fi let's find out how do we find out the area of the yellow circle. Well, we need to know radius. That is the only thing that we need to know. So now what is given is that this we know, right? Actually, we can kind of uh, write it this way. So let's say this small radius, if we say that is R1, then the second radius, we can say that is R2, and then we can say, the third radius is R3. If we think this way, R2 and the third one is R3. So we are talking about this is R2. So R2 will be equal to, obviously, so if you think like this, so it will be this plus 2 centimeter. Because the thickness of the band is 2 centimeter. Right? So these thicknesses are given. So this thickness or this width is 2 cm. Similarly, this width is 2 cm. So from here, center, uh, the radius, so R2 will be equal to R1, which is the radius of the smaller circle, plus 2 cm. This will be the radius of the R2. Or R1 simply is A by 2, so this will be that plus 2. So now if I have to find out the area of the yellow band, so that area, area of the yellow band, so this will be equal to, it is the area of the second circle, which is pi r square, r2 square, which is basically a by 2 plus 2. This is the radius, this square minus area of the smaller circle which was saw earlier pi r square r will be the area of the radius of the small circle pi r square make sure that you you have the correct radiuses because area the only one thing area and perimeter that depend on is the radius if you so area of any circle is directly proportional to the radius. So for area of the bigger circle, the, our second circle, it will be pi r2 square, but r2 is equal to r1 plus 2 or a by 2 plus 2. So r a plus a by 2 plus 2 whole square minus pi area of the first circle a by 2, that is the radius r1 whole square. Now I am not solving this for you, but you 
need to simplify this and find out in terms of A, what is the area for the yellow band. So similarly, let's say you will find some value. Let's call it, you will find it is x centimeter square. When you simplify, you will, and I understand that x will be expressed in terms of A. But let us call this value as x. So why do we need this? That is required for the third part. Let's clean this up a little bit. Now we have to find out the area of the red band. So similarly, like we did for the yellow band, we can think of the area of the red band as, so it will be R3, the area of the big circle, R3, minus, if we take out the area of the smaller circle. So again, R3 will be equal to R2 plus 2. R2 plus 2 right or R2 is nothing but R1 or we can say this is R1 plus 4 and R1 is A by 2 and this will be that plus 4. So now here the area of the red band will be equal to pi R3 square right but R3 remember is the largest circle. So that entire circle, if I take that area and subtract out the R2, so this is R3 and this is R2, which is R2. So R3 is A by A by 2 plus 4 whole square. Remember pi r square, so the r3 is a by 2 plus 4 whole square minus this area and that is what we saw from the last step and we call that x. So if you do pi a by 2 plus 4 whole square minus x, this will give us the area of the red band. So friends, I hope that you are getting a feel for how we will start to solve these kind of questions.